this is a way in which this happens okay not down what i'm about to say is it happens in two ways let's just take your prodigal indeed even in the mind of god knows that this is your prodigal there are two things that happens he knows each and every person's heart that's why the lord has a way or has a time for preparation joseph was in prison those times they might seem and uh not necessarily in the human understanding let me be honest with you i also don't see why god would put joseph in prison but the lord makes no mistakes hence he saw it fit that let this man go in prison or else oh my god so let me tell you about something some of these prodigals before they become even prodigals they go through a lot so that when they meet you they be at the, as good as humble as they are because they've been humble before they never take anything for granted and some they meet you prematurely hence they begin to misbehave take you for granted and after they leave that's when they see the reality that you know what it's not everybody in this world i thought everybody can be as loving as the hair or him hence they decide to come back like the prodigal son in the bible and i want to tell you something as long as you did nothing wrong to somebody myself i always look at it in two ways it's either that person was the wrong person or god is still teaching them something hence you, be, you don't be shocked <clears throat> when they come back it is because they met their match they met someone who is cruel and that's when they begin to see the reality of life that is why even the prodigal son in the bible he met, he thought he could be happy. He thought the, the grass was greener and he saw the reality of life. And that's when he went back to the father. So don't be surprised. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to come back to you. And you don't feel guilty. If you don't feel like taking them back, don't force yourself. Unless if you know that all along God Almighty had told me they're going to come back. I know this is divine. Then hallelujah to you. And I pray for her, further for you that in Jesus mighty name, May the enemy never change your heart and the way you are, the good that you are, by when, he, when you encounter wrong people. But may the Lord maintain his grace upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.